While many were in attendance at The Rock for the annual Cream and Crimson scrimmage, one important player from last year made his appearance. Captain Tracy Porter was here to show his support for players and friends. I mean, you know, it's, it's an odd feeling to know that you're know, out there participating with your teammates, participating with the guys you came in with, but I mean, you know, I'm out here showing my support as a future alum, so, you know, it's a great experience for me. Well, you know, not only was he a great player, he was a really good captain. And, and I think that was the one thing about Tracy is his leadership skills really grew as he was here. And, and, and I think he took great pride in being a leader last year. He, had a, he like Hardy, he had a tremendous relationship with Coach Hepp. And uh, I think that was one of the things that Hep always tried to uh, preach to Tracy is to take on a leadership role. And I think he took great pride in that. And I think he, that was kind of a mission of his uh, after Hep passed away through the summer. I thought he did a great job of that. Of course, to play that extra bowl game, man. I'll be at whatever bowl game they're at. So, you know, I'll come back to a couple of games, you know, should we have time at my, you know, doing what I'm doing. But, you know, I'm definitely going to be showing my support, and I'm looking forward to playing in that bowl game. Well, many say that nothing can top last year's season with the annual IU Purdue game and their trip to the bowl. Tracy Porter has high hopes for his future and for his teammates. A little nervous, you know, a little both nervous and excited, but, you know, I've been working out when I had the time. Uh, the past couple of weeks I've been traveling, going to visit other teams. So, you know, now you're just like a sitting duck. You have to wait until next week, wait for the draft to come around, wait for your name to be called, and I'm definitely waiting for that. While many critics say that Tracy Porter could go as high as the number one round draft pick, many Hoosiers will be tuning in to see what the draft's actual decision will be next week. With the Hoosiers in Bloomington, I'm Katie Spencer, Hoosier Sports Night.